P&Fs and school boards. What's the difference? And how do they work together to support the school? The, the board and P&F are very much complementary. So we're, we're all here for the same thing, which is our students and the best, what's best for our students. The board is a more formal gathering and has a more formal role in policy and strategic direction. The PNF complement that through raising uh, community awareness of, of different um, activities in the school, um, raising much needed funds for additional resources for the children. We look at um, our profile in the, in the wider Cairns community as well, the, the PNF do that. Um, as well as um, our own community within the school. They do play different roles in my view, and may not be everybody's view, but my view is the PNF is a here and now, right live spot, what's going on for the school, what are we going to do? The board takes on a, a more of a helicopter view is where is this school going, how do we get there, are the policies and, and things that we're doing inside this board appropriate for the school, is it setting the right agenda, is it consistent with the diocese? So they have that, they have that role to play. I think the PNS is really important because it's a live and kicking sort of energy that, that um, is, is happening. So the, the two function cooperatively together. Both are equally important at Our Lady Help of Christians and the way I describe it to people when they ask that very question is that I see the board as a strategic arm and the PNF in a more operational capacity. Uh, a good example is where a question is put to the PNF to make a decision that might require a policy uh, to inform our decision. That matter would then be passed to the board, a decision made or a policy formed and the PNF is then able to make uh, an informed answer or judgment. Um, in saying that, we have a very healthy relationship between our board and our PNF, and we have dual memberships. Uh, we also have uh, an ongoing report from the board at each PNF meeting to keep us informed and across all issues. Yeah, well, I believe that they have similar but different functions. So if I can explain that, I mean, for me, the board has always been um, involved at that probably capacity of advising me around policy procedure, um, that shared wis wisdom of discernment um, at all times of discussing issues, um, providing support that I feel that I can take on board and then and, and utilise. The PNF on the other hand are very much a, a group of hard-working people who are getting in at the foundation of the school and trying to develop facilities for their own, for their own children, uh, putting on functions, supporting the college in whatever, whatever they can. But it's great to see great leadership in both my PNF and in my college board because I think they can work well together, but for me they have different functions. The PNF is largely the activity base, so they, they, they're widely involved in fundraising and really being involved in the actual day-to-day, -day, not operations so much, but ancillary services that come with the school. The board is more overarching and they're setting the, the tone, I suppose, and the direction for the school. So they're not necessarily involved in, though all parents are because your parents as well as board members, in the actual PNF activities that they do. So it's more a broader uh, community-based approach, whereas the PNF is much more structured on the activities that the school will be undertaking. The PNF is an open forum. Anybody in the school community is welcome to attend any meeting. The board oversees the school policy and the finances of the school. The PNF is more about the community and our different pet projects that we run. The PNF is open to all members of the school community and it's also um, uh, have a, has a main charter of uh, fundraising for the school together with um, providing parental education. Uh, the PNF at the school are perhaps more involved in the day-to-day -day running of um, activities, fundraising, um, improvements of school grounds or play equipment, uh, library facilities, whereas the board, I would say, is more involved in the decision-making processes. The board really looks at the um, policies and the procedures of the school and, and is actively in managing its forward movement. The board and the PNF relate in that we have a member of the PNF attend our meetings so that that member also has a contribution to um, any decisions that are made. That member then reports back to the PNF at their meetings. 
um, and also that member reports to the board about what is occurring at the PNF meetings. We've been fortunate that the um, the board has invited m myself, um, uh, ex officio, to attend a meeting or an AGM um, to understand what the context that they're looking at, and we are going to return that favour and ask the board to attend a PNF meeting. The board uh, often invites the PNF to come along to our meetings, and in fact, for a while, we were providing a board member to each of the P to each of the PNF meetings. The purpose of that is just to get some transparency and communication between the two mediums. We certainly also utilise the PNF. Um, with some of the projects we want to, as, as far as the communication goes, to assist us with getting some of, the, some of the traction that we need to in our policies and procedures area in particular. Look, the parents of this community are so engaged and so on board. They are um, very creative in coming up with new initiatives and ways to keep our community active and alive. They really make my job so much easier by being passionate about their, their children and their learning. They really care and they really want to enter into that partnership of um, raising children. Because it, you know, it takes a village to raise children and we're all in this together. So it, it makes my job a lot easier having a, a highly functioning and engaged board and PNF who complement each other well.